Okay, we are getting ready to sketch out our canvas. Uh, this painting, I found it on Pinterest. I reached out to one of our uh, regular painting class um, participants. You know, she's she's pretty awesome. She knows who, he, who she is. Um, and I was like, I need inspiration. I need to come up with something, you know, to do for a painting class, just something fun. And I'm, and I'm just not, you know, with the climate of the world or thing, I'm just not feeling very fun. So she sent me several ideas on Pinterest and there was cactuses. So I was like, you know, we've never painted cactuses. So I found this, it's called a uh, cat and cactuses. So I, sketched it out, but here's the kicker. Not everybody likes cats. So with this painting, we're going to paint a dog instead of a cat. And then I'm also gonna show you just a quick cactus you could sketch out and, and paint at the end of this. Um, but you know, y'all know I'm a cat person. Y'all have seen the videos with Ronnie making his, his appearance. And I just wanted something fun, light, pretty uh, to hang in my mud room, which is going to be yellow. So I'm, I'm going to actually stick with the same background. Y'all know how I am. Sometimes I like to shake it up. But w like for the general background and, and forefront, I am going to stay with these colors. Uh, so let's get to sketching. All right. Easy, easy painting super fun quick it's something that if um you and your your girlfriends or your sister uh niece i mean your brother your son if you want to try this and just have a relaxing afternoon this is a good one to just to start with all right so i'm just gonna make my horizon line and again not exact a little curve there that's my, my lovely wrist. Okay, so I'm gonna start my first flower pot. I'm just gonna start from the floor up. Give it that little bit of a V. This has a, a little bit of a wider lip. So I'm just gonna start up here at the top and just kind of swoop down and come around. All right. Now I'm gonna come up. And then I'm just gonna come straight across or as straight as I can get there, okay? So there's our first flower pot, easy, easy. The details, it's gonna be in the colors you use. This is one of those paintings, it does not have to be exact. In fact, it's gonna be a lot cuter if it's not exact. This one's just a little curved pot. I wanna do a little curve here and then just come up a little bit where we're gonna meet our cactus, okay? All right, everybody with me so far? I know I'm kind of maybe going a little fast, but it's just shapes and colors and you can slow this down too. So always remember that. Okay, so we're gonna, the one that's gonna house our little puppy dog. Again, whoop. And when I say exact, it, it needs to resemble at least somewhat of <laughs> what you're going for. Okay, I'm gonna make this one uh, just a little bit taller. Okay, like that. Not, not as big of a lip. Okay, just like that. Okay. Ooh, I, there we go. And then this one is just a uh, Sort of like that one, except it's gonna be taller and thinner, okay? Like that. And then I'm actually gonna curve it out, okay? Like that, okay? I know I'm saying okay a lot, and I do apologize. I sure do miss y'all. Alrighty then, so now we've got our flower pots. Cool beans. Now we are going to do this big guy. And all I did was I came up, curved around like a hot dog. And I came down here, 
and just made his arm like this and then made another arm out like this. These are very similar to the ones that you'll find just freestanding in, in our Western states. This one, I'm gonna curve out and loop around and just close that in there like that. And when I first did this, I was like, oh, well, you know, we're gonna do it. But it, it looks sort of like a little bow on top of her head. And I kind of like that. I'm gonna Okay, like that. Bring a little closer for you guys. Just like that. As as our one of our favorite artists would say, there's no bad mistake. Just just happy accidents. Okay, so now and this one was a little more difficult because you know how it's all overlaid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the middle. Just like that, just start in the middle. And then, and I kinda got, you see where I kinda got close over here. So this, this one's not gonna look exactly like this one, but that's okay. I want it to look a little bit different cause you know, these guys are gonna be hanging side by side in my, my mud room. Okay, so we have got our cactuses. See, I told you, it, it's easy. Just take your time. If you mess up, don't worry about it. You got an eraser and you've got time. You can do this. I, I absolutely 100% believe in you. Okay, so our dog. Now at the end of it, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to draw your dog. Remember, your dog's not gonna look just like my dog, like your cat's not gonna look just like my cat. And each time I've, I've practiced these drawings, they, none of them <laughs> have come out looking the same. So, so we've got this. Okay, so with the dog, I'm just gonna start up here. I'm gonna do like the little dome on top of his head, you know, like where you would pat him. Then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make a floppy ear. And I'm gonna come over here and make a floppy ear. Okay, and remember at the end of it, I'm gonna, I'll have a step by step. Okay, so that was step one, two, three. The fourth step, I'm gonna make his little nose. Oh, you see our lights go out? Because I'm not making enough uh, movement in here, but that's okay. We've got our, our cool ring light that Miss Amanda ordered for us. Okay, so I'm gonna come down and make his first jaw, and then I'm gonna come around and it's gonna shape the side of his head. And I'll come around and just do the exact same thing over here. Okay. See, now you're like, oh, now I'm seeing the dog. <laughs> I'm gonna put his big puppy eyes right here. The body is definitely the hardest part. I'm gonna curve out a little bit, then come down and make his puppy paw here. Maybe not so much. He's, a, he's got big feet, okay. And then come around. No, I don't like that. Yay for erasers. Little puppy paw, come around. Make his little leg. And right here, we'll, we'll just color it in. 
Now remember, it doesn't have to be exact simply because we're gonna paint over this, right? So we're not gonna stress. So I'm gonna come over here in his little hind leg and curve up and then make his back foot. Like that. All right. So my dog's kind of got a big head, but that's okay. I think he's cute. And if you want to, you can add a tail behind there. It's completely up to you. Um, I'm just not going to. So, so up to you. Now we have got our painting sketched out. We've got our cactuses and you see everything is very bare. So all the detail we're gonna be adding is going to be with our paint. So when we come back, we're gonna paint our puppy and cactus. <laughs> Alrighty, yay, we are ready to paint. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna keep the background and the, the tabletop area the same colors because I, I have a plan for this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just using lemon yellow. I'm gonna use some lemon yellow. Clean that out a little bit so it will actually close my first bunch of paint on me. <laughs> Y'all are used to that. Uh, yellow medium. So I'm, I'm just going to make the whole background. Come on, I'm out of yellow uh, medium. Awesome. There we go. Got a little more out of there. Never fear. Okay. So, again, this is pretty, just put that in my water bucket. I'll have to clean this table, of course, you know. Y'all know me. Those of you who have taken my classes, while I'm, while I'm getting this background going, we're gonna talk a little bit about my class. Okay, so, those of you that have been with me since 2015, wow, it's, it's hard to believe it's been that many years. Um, I am not professionally trained. I am living room trained. Uh, of course, you know, I, I've, I've studied techniques and I've, I've studied artists and figured out, you know, how to do certain things. And that's, that typically falls under my, uh, art education class that I do once a month. Um, and some of those videos well, since, since the pandemic, all those videos are on our YouTube channel. But I, I wanna learn, I want, I want my paintings to look the best that they can. Because, you know, I do give a lot of these paintings away. I have been commissioned to do paintings for people, which makes me very, um, makes me feel very honored because they, they see something in me I don't typically see in myself. Um, Cause we all, we all are our worst critic, right? But what do I tell you? Don't worry about it. It's just colors and shapes. <laughs> A good friend of mine, when I first decided, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna paint. I'm, I'm gonna stop thinking about it. I knew I had at least enough talent that my mom would hang it on her living room wall. And uh, he said, you know, you're stressing out about it. It's just colors and shapes. And over the years, I have became friends with um, other artists who have inspired me and, and helped me when I was feeling down about something, about a painting. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this raw sienna just to kind of give it some depth up here, okay? Um, you know, just because, you know, we all need those friends. We all need those friends that aren't going to lie to us about our art, but that will say, you know, you've got this. Just stop stressing about it. Just try this. And lo and behold, they were right. Uh, it's just colors and shapes. Just relax. This is a fun painting. And you see how I'm not even staying right to left, up or down. I'm just kind of 
just kind of a hot mess. I'm just all over the place in here. So I'm just coming down. And if I get a little bit over onto, you know, the, the drawings themselves, it's okay. We're gonna paint those. That'll cover up. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna come down in here. I know I'm going a little fast because, you know, it's a video and I know you guys have got a lot going on. I don't wanna keep you all day. And see, I'm just leaving some of that that raw sienna just kind of hanging out because I, I want to give this not necessarily a stucco look but just a fun loose look how about that okay I'm gonna come in here and I'll I'll come in there with a smaller brush because you know I'm not worried about all that but then again you know I don't want to have to do a whole lot of cover up Right, right. You know, pulled some of my pencil, but there we go. I just worked, I just worked it into the color. Tink. And again, I just used two different shades of yellow with a little raw sienna in there. And you'll see, like I'll, I'll get a little bit on my brush every now and then. I just put a little dab in the middle of my yellow down here. Like just like right in there and every once in a while I'll pull it and, and it works perfectly. This one is one of the paintings that I don't necessarily have a um, an outline, like a, a black line like I typically do with a lot of my, my own paintings because I prefer more of a pop art style. But that is awesome because you know, this is hanging in my house and I, I'd like my house to have all different kinds of styles of art in it. Down in there. I love the way the paintbrush sounds when it's hitting the canvas. It's kind of therapeutic for me. I don't know about you guys. Here's a little thunder rolling around outside the library today. One of those lovely summer pop-up showers. As long as we keep our electricity, we will be doing good, right? little close there and like I said I've got a smaller paintbrush that's the same style as this I'll just come in there and you'll notice I'm doing something I don't always do but this painting I feel like needs needs to be finished so we're gonna we're gonna hit the edges ladies and gentlemen kind of felt like this one needed it. And again, y'all saw, you're seeing it. I'm picking up my canvas and I apologize. And then again, some of y'all know that's how I paint. When I paint at home for myself, I, I don't I don't use an easel. Um, I have this big, huge ottoman that sits in front of my couch and I'll, I'll cover it with an old towel. And that's typically where I paint. Um, I sometimes will even have it in my lap. I've ruined a many, many sets of pajamas <laughs> and t-shirts and, you know, things of that nature. Painting like that. Coming over here, just kind of. All right. So I've got that. I'm just gonna put this in my water back here. Okay. So like I said, it's it's same same um, brand, same style. Just a little smaller, a little. Actually, it has a little more stiffness to it. So we're going. There goes our light again. <laughs> um, 
we're just gonna wiggle in here. We're gonna get these little white spaces taken care of very quickly. And again, you see I'm not, I'm using very uh, quick, short strokes because I wanna give it that, that uh, choppy kind of look in the background. Uh, let's see, come over here. And you can see there's really no rhyme or reason. I'm just, I totally skipped over this little guy over here, but I'll come back. Again, I really wouldn't worry a lot about the little white spaces right up against the cactus, but I'm not doing that black outline. So I definitely, you know, I wanna make sure that there's not a lot of white showing. looking at it looks good we are ready to do the bottom so I'm cleaning out my yellow I'm gonna put a little um, orange okay and I've got enough yellow on here so I'm gonna take my yellows and just pitch them in my bucket uh, so when I need to add a little yellow to my cactus I'm I am good I'm going to throw a little white on here too, just kind of keep things um, flowing. And I tell you what, let's get even more sassier. We're just going to, just a little dab of red, actually, yeah, that's permanent red. Okay. Okay, so what I have done is I've got my oranges and my, and you see I've still got, that's a no-no. I put way too much yellow on there. Okay, so I've cleaned out. If I was ball brass, I'd just be over here smacking my canvas, but we're not using oil paint or thinner. It's water, it'll make a mess of everything. <laughs> okay, so just loading up. And this, I'm just actually going back and forth across the bottom. Again, I will get the sides. Now let's throw a little red to it. Yeah, I see. I promise guys, I do not live this dangerously in my, in my real life. Only when it comes to painting. I'm gonna throw a little white in there. Okay. So I'm gonna grab my canvas. As you know, you guys know I can't stand it. Okay, so I'm just gonna, on the edge of my brush, it's flat. I'm just gonna come along the bottom. And what I'm doing is I'm basically covering up any uh, pencil line where I um, I drew my horizon a minute ago. Remember that? Yeah. So we're just gonna. I'm just gonna come across here. And we're gonna do that. And I'm just gonna carefully, cause I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get too crazy and get up on there in my yellow a lot. And I'm just gonna fill in all this white. And I'm just doing it with orange. I'm not, see I told you my, my crazy living is short lived, you know. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get all that filled in right there. Awesome, possum. And then I'm gonna 
again, throw a little red, let's throw a little white. And this canvas is sucking up my paint really good. And it doesn't, this part you can get a little, little heavy. Ooh, you see where I, yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna cover that. And then I'm gonna come along. <laughs> Y'all are like, she's crazy. Look at her, she's got that canvas turned upside down. Yes, I know. And I'm painting my hand, it's okay. It's acrylic. It'll come off your skin, but it won't come off your clothes. Or at least I haven't got it to yet. Okay. Just a little bit of red we got in there. Don't need any of these little white specks I got going on. And I'm just turning it over and I'm getting this last little bit of edge over here. Remember to get in that little crease there where your canvas tucks in. Okay, now here's the hard part is, you know, where, can you still see me? I'm sorry. I'll, I'll quit the acrobats here in just a second. Okay, so now, we have got the bottom of the canvas painted. And I'm gonna, that darker orange and just a tad bit of red, I'm gonna mix it up like that and just kind of pat it into my brush. And I'm gonna come along the bottom, like just under my, my pots. Um, you know, give the illusion of a shadow, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I did with that one. And I'm just gonna come down just like that. White. And again, you can do any any color combination you want, your painting, your choice, right? Okay, so, ta-da! We have got our background, we've got our foreground. Now, the fun. We're gonna get to paint our flower pots. And this, like you said, like I said, you know, it's however you want what's gonna match your house, what's gonna look good to you in your home. So since I've still got enough of these, if I wanna use any of these colors, I can. So I'm gonna get these off the table, give us a, give us a little elbow room. Alrighty, so on this one, I did a couple of different blues. So on this one, hmm. I want to I want to go a little different. Let's do a purple. How about that? I'm gonna do a purple. I really like that small brush. And typically, you know, I only use two, maybe three brushes. Cause I, you know. It, it's like your favorite t-shirt. Once you find something that you really like and it feels good and it works good for you, you wear that same thing over and over. Same, same way I am with uh, with my paintbrushes. Okay, so I'm just coming in here. Again, this is a fun painting. And it's still tacky. You hear that? Yeah, it's still tacky. So, um, so you guys at home, you could maybe you know do your backgrounds and then you know go go do something in the house, uh, return some text, start a little on you know whatever, yeah, whatever. And uh, 
maybe it won't be so tacky for you guys. You don't have that popping sound every time your finger rests on the painting. And I'm gonna leave that there and then I'm gonna pull in some white. Get along the bottom there. And then pull in some white. And I don't know why. I just like it. Uh, I, I just maybe to give it a little more contrast, you know. Y'all know me. Okay, so there you go. Awesome. What I'm going to do for the lip, I'm going to take a little bit of white, a little bit of the purple. I'm gonna mix it all together. And then I'm just gonna do the lip, just a lighter shade of purple, okay? Not a lighter shade of pale, lighter shade of purple. And for those that did not get that, it's the Moody Blues. Very pretty, sad song. Now I might have to listen to that later. <laughs> okay, so, and that, that's why I don't like using a canvas is because I want absolute control of my painting. Not a canvas, I'm sorry, an easel. I want that little bit of control of holding the, the canvas still, you know? All right, there we go. Got a little speck of white right here. Woo, that was scary. Did y'all hear that? I, I'm sure y'all saw my hands jump. There's like a really loud boom of lightning outside and I jumped. Okay, so I'm gonna take my white and I'm just gonna dip it, or not my white, but my paintbrush. I'm gonna dip it into my white, okay? And this is fun. And I'm just gonna make polka dots. Polka dots. Okay, just like that. Got that flower pot done. See, like I said, it, this painting is so easy. You can just have so much fun with it. Um, now, yeah, um, I've got the wiggle fingers going on. Let's 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 do a blue. Let's do a sky blue. And this one's almost out, so I'm just gonna unscrew the top and, and get all the paint out. There we go. It's just enough. And I can actually throw that away. Um, hmm, let's try this paintbrush. Let's let's give all paintbrushes a chance here to prove that they can do what I need them to do. Okay, so we're gonna come in here. Yeah, it's coming a really good storm out there, guys. And again, I'm gonna add a little white. That's funny, I'll have to come back to on this video at that point and see how noticeable I was when I jumped. Oh, 
I hope everyone is doing well. I, I do worry about all of you guys and, uh, and I keep you in my prayers and my thoughts. I just, I just really hope that everyone is, is okay. And I'm not talking about, you know, sick wise, but this has been hard on everybody emotionally too. I haven't painted very much. The most that I have painted is for the library. And, you know, those of you who know me know how much I enjoy painting, so. I just, I just miss it and I miss you guys. Okay, so you see, I just, I, just, I don't know. I just kind of like that. It's very simple. I've got the a little bit of a crisscross pattern to, to my blue. Do you see that? Um, so, you know what? I think I'm going to leave that. And, hmm, I don't, I don't want to put black in the background, but however, I do want to take some of my blue, just like I did with the, the white and the purple, and just a smidge of the black and, and darken my blue up a little bit, okay? And, ooh, <laughs> I'll, I'll have to fix that. And just come in here a little bit. Just a little bit. Make a little. Okay, just like that. And I really like this painting because of the um, the imperfection part of it. That you know, it's not perfect. It's not clean. It's it's fun and it's free. And these paintings are going to be two of the first paintings people are going to see when they come into my house. And and I think I'm going to really enjoy that. I know everybody has different opinions of how they they want people to see their homes for the first time. Me, I want I want the kind of home that when people walk in, they're like, "Oh, I can take my shoes off and I can sit down here and 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 actually like chill out and and feel at home." You know, I think I'm just gonna leave that pot alone. I'm not gonna put any kind of design. I I think the the blues really just say it for itself. Okay, I'm gonna leave this all alone. We're gonna come, we're gonna go over here to this pretty little pot and I think I'm gonna make it pink. Um, maybe not like magenta. I'm gonna cross over you guys, sorry about that. Um, this is, this is what's called purple red. Yeah, I know, right? but it's actually one of my favorite colors to, to paint with. And I don't know why, maybe because it is so different than its type, you know, its name, but. Okay. See, I, I have no idea what purple red, you know, but we're, we're gonna roll with it. I'm gonna trust them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust, um, master's touch that they they know what they're doing okay i know i'm kind of got quiet because i'm concentrating in our painting classes i always know when you guys are concentrating and really working hard on one certain part of the um painting because you guys get really super quiet and I'm like oh yeah they're like I can almost hear the wheels in your brain turning and that's usually when I'm just walking around enjoying everybody's paintings seeing what all of you guys have cooked up because I can say this when we have our painting classes, one, well, it is the most enjoyable besides seeing you guys and getting to talk to you and catch up. Um, 
the actual see where each of you take these paintings because I have not yet done an original painting of mine. I have not brought something from Mariah's brain and uh, ask you to recreate it in your own way. Everything I pick is typically from Pinterest. Unless you're in my art ed class, then we, we take paintings of actual uh, famous artists and learn that technique, but that's a whole other thing. But, um, you know, and I tell you, make it, make it yours, you know? And just seeing what you guys come up with and all the lovely things that you, you create, just absolutely love it. Okay, so, yeah, y'all know I couldn't just leave that purple red. So I took my purple that we used in this and I, I threw a little bit to the pink here, the purple red. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now I'm, I flattened my brush. I didn't even I didn't even put it in water. I just flattened it, cleaned it, pulled all the paint out of it. So I'm I've loaded up just the tip. So I'm gonna do a line like this. Almost like Charlie Brown's shirt. And every time I say Charlie Brown, I always say, Charlie Brown, he's a clown. Yeah, I'm feeling the music today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so. Fill it in. The reason I left this one alone was I wanted to do something a little bit different and it's it's probably gonna look weird because it's gonna look so different than the rest of the pods but you know y'all know me I'm, I don't care oh. so I got burnt umber go with it I don't want to see it anymore it's too dark favorite little brush here. Okay, so we're gonna, gonna come in here. We're gonna fill this pot in with that dark brown. Bracing my, my hand, steadying my hand with my pinky there. I've got it on the, the part of the pot that we haven't painted yet, so I don't stick to it. Guys, the numbers keep going down. Hopefully the library will be opening soon. How awesome will that be? We don't know about classes, you know, that may that might actually be next year before we can all meet together. But it's one step closer. Thank goodness. I'm so happy. Um okay, so I've got my I've got a good spot of brown there, so I'm gonna bring in this sienna. And this might be totally ugly, and I might feel bad that I've even tried it, but we're gonna, I might even cover it all up. Who knows? Okay. That little patting sound, I like that. You know, I don't like it. So I'm gonna take the and then go over it. See, I told y'all. I was gonna try something. And I didn't like it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna come up here and take care of the lip. Right 
curls. You know, and a lot of people, they try to get their paintings to look just like a photograph. And to me, I mean, might as well just have a photograph, you know? So don't, don't feel bad if your painting doesn't look exactly like what it's supposed to be. It's a painting. So, hmm. I don't know, folks. Don't know. Oh, throw a little yellow to me. Let's see how that goes. Because this might just be the ugliest pot known to man. You know. Okay, uh, let me think. When I sit, when I when I step back and look at it, it looks better. Um, just got my tip of black, so I'm gonna come along here, okay, just like that. Um, but what I really wanted to do was uh, kind of. Do a, a crack in it for those of you that maybe wanted to try it but wouldn't didn't know how to start it. Very carefully, like thin out your brush, load it up, and then see where I did the crack. Okay. So it just kind of gives it, I don't know, something different. <laughs> okay, so now, yeah. Our flower pots are painted easy and like I said totally up to you you see this one the how these look you see how these look I even tried to get creative with that one and then fell on my face but that's okay all right now so we're gonna start on this bad boy over here since that was the first flower pot we painted hopefully that'll be a little more um, dry uh, I'm going to put all this up because I still have enough on my my palette so you see all this paint I'm gonna try to use as much of it as I can in here all right so oh there goes all our lights all righty let me see if I can't get us uh, some lights back on in the noble Allen room expect the unexpected okay so I'm going to get my different greens let's see what this one sap green I think that is the perfect green to start with and it's a little low too but this one we've had for a long time and we've got more back there Rome Oxide Green. Oh yeah, that's a nice rich green. And Light Green. All right, and then we got our Light Olive Green. I really like this one, and I, I, I don't know why, there's just something about it. I really do like it. Okay, all right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I told you this one was gonna be fun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with our sap green and I'm just gonna load my brush up and I'm just gonna come in here. And again, remember uh, how I have chose to do this painting. It's more unfinished, so I'm just I'm just going up and down, covering up my pencil marks basically. Okay. 
curve it a little bit. There we go. And it's it's funny because when I did the original, I was like, man, how am I going to get all these little needle marks in here? And I figured it out. And it was so cool. So. I'm just going up and down, filling in, filling in my cactus. Go along the edge there and just pull up. Again, it's still a little tacky. I'm still popping a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so I've got that. Then I'm gonna do the little arms wave in here. Again, just cover my, as much of my pencil mark as possible. I would love one day uh, actually, my daughter and I want to plan a trip uh, when she graduates from high school to drive out west and uh, just see, you know, Route 66. And, and I would love to see actual cactus like this. My grandparents, or well, my great grandparents lived in Arizona for half their lives. And, and my grandmother lived there as a teenager, and a lot of uh, a lot of things in her home had that western feel to it, that desert feel. And Hagen even has a cactus at home, so I, I definitely want to go and see a real cactus. Okay, so I've loaded up with that that olive. And I'm just going over it here and there. It mixes well with this. And again, see I'm not doing full coverage. I'm just going here and there and just giving a little, little depth, a little prettiness. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And what I'm gonna do is, again, very thin on the tip of my brush, I'm even gonna flatten it out a little bit. It's some black, and I'm just gonna just do this. Okay, like that. Do the same thing with white. Flatten it out just on the tips. Just like that, yeah, that is really nice. I'm really loving this cactus. I mean, I love my, shh, I love my other cactus, but I'm really loving this one. Um, okay, maybe a little yellow. Yeah, why is, yeah, I mean, why not, right? Again, just load up the tip. Just throw a little yellow in there, a little yellow fellow. Awesome, okay, so. Now, yeah, no, not that brush. Hmm, it's looking, uh, looking for a very thin brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna load the tip up and then I'm just gonna go here and there. That's how we're gonna do our, see, I'm just barely flicking the brush it's actually very dry I just pulled it out of the the paint bucket there's not has been no water added to it so the the bristles are very stiff see and I'm barely hitting the canvas with it and I'm going along the outside and then I'm coming back on the inside of the cactus just flicking, just barely flicking at it. All right. I'm 
this requires a very light touch because you don't want a little thick needle. You know, like, yeah, you don't want a big mark. There you go. Cactus number one, done. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. Y'all know me, I'm just, I am crazy about painting. Okay, so, let's get this little guy. This little round guy right here. And again, I'm gonna start with that darker green. I'm just gonna come around, fill her in. I think she, with her little bow, I think she feels, it feels more like a girl cactus. We can name her Wanda. Okay, and again, remember I'm not, I don't mind it being a little choppy. Come around here and get that. A little bit of pencil mark covered up. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it with a different green besides that light olive. I might do a light olive here in a minute to to help lighten it up. Um, well, I've, I've used all three of my greens. So let's, let's, let's see what this olive can do. And I wanna have more. Okay, those lines in there. So with the light olive green, I'm actually just dropping and curving. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow on my brush, didn't even clean it, and just coming in and doing the same thing, okay? Let's do a little bit of white. Same thing, curve, drop, curve, drop. See that? Just a smidge of black. Oh, isn't she pretty? I like her. Wanda. Wanda with her her pink bow that she's about to have. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take the paintbrush that's stiff. I'm gonna dab a little bit in the black paint. There goes that light again. I have a feeling we'll be done with our painting before all the lights shut off on us again. <laughs> That's why I like working here and having patrons like you guys, because you're you're probably at home laughing, like thinking about me getting up, waving my arms, trying to get the the lights to come back on. Okay, and with this one, I I did a little less flicking, but I'm just touching. Okay, there you go. Now, let's give her her pretty, her pretty headdress. Okay, so we're gonna start with that purple red. I'm just gonna just fill her in. While I'm doing this, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, so what other color am I gonna hit this flower with?
Oop. There we go. There's a lot of gunked up stuff on there, wasn't it? All right, so we have got our pink. So I'm gonna take some white on the tip of my brush and just kind of come along the base and pull up of each petal. Okay, like that. And I'm gonna, that purple, my purple, I'm actually gonna just kind of come in between the, the petals and kind of fill in. And then maybe even make some few little lines here and there. I'm gonna get my very, the very tip of my brush and my black and just kind of do that. All right. Look at Wanda's pretty little flower bow. Look at that. Okay. Now we're going to skip the dog and we're going to finish up our cactuses. So this one is a lot of fun. Um, so what I did was, was the, uh, the further back ones were kind of dark because you know, light and all. And again, I'm not uh, super concerned if it looks all polished and snazzy. I think this one, this cactus type plant is actually called a mother-in-law's tongue. So, <laughs> um, I think it was because it was sharp and pointed. I don't know. I'm not a mother-in-law. One day I hope to be, so I'll let you guys know. I had a wonderful mother-in-law, so I can't say that about mine, so. Okay, so we're gonna fill this in. I'm doing all different kinds of greens. This lighter one. Awesome. Kind of like that streakiness to it. I don't, I really do. I like it. It's not kind of. And I used all three of my greens. I mean, all four. So that's good. Alright, I might, uh, let's do a little bit of a, just a little bit of a dark green streak there, light green streaks here. Okay, wonderful. And then I'm going to take a brush and, you know, again, just fill it up. And I'm just going down and around. I 
like that. And then <clears throat> I'm just filling that tip up again with white, flattening it out. And then I'm just doing the white lines that are typical of these type of um, plants. Yeah, not, not surgical. I'm having fun with it. All right. Yay! We, oops. Lost a paintbrush. <laughs> All right, so we have finished our cactus. How much fun was that? Yay! Okay, now our puppy. Now let's see how we want to color our puppy dog. Let's. Okay, okay I still got plenty of that on mine. I'm gonna use this stiff brush, a little sienna um, from around. Mm -hmm. black is mixing in that was already on this paintbrush but that is good because that it doesn't it gives it a little contrast in there it doesn't look like it's all just the same color right that ear and kind of smooth it out and blend it in. And come over here and throw a little white half circle on the puppy dog's ear. Okay. Circle around its little eyes there. Its nose. I want this to be lighter than the rest of the dog. There I go with the LKs again. That's what that's how you know I'm really concentrating. I'm like, uh, okay. Now, I'm gonna make his body quite a bit lighter. that 
All right, look at this. Then I'm going to take um, that darker brown, and I've got my tip lo um, loaded up, and I'm just going to come along and just kind of go along his legs, the outer part of his body. Just kind of fit, you know, giving that little bit of outline, that little bit of detail. Get a little bit of black. We're gonna go around his jaws. And I'm gonna tip. Just do a little detail in there. Okay. I was looking for a small brush, and I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna take color in his nose. I'm gonna color it black. I'm gonna color in his eyes. got sort of a Coraline thing going on for Neil Gaiman people, but I want to take care of that. I wouldn't mind a Coraline dog, but some people would. Okay, so very tip of this, a little white speck on his nose, and then we're gonna go in while we're waiting for his eyes to dry. I'm gonna put another little white spot up here. Another little white spot up here. Maybe one down here. Everybody needs a little speckled dog, right? And then on his body, I'm gonna do right the opposite. A little black spot down here. Maybe one right here. All right. Then you clean this brush off, and I'm gonna get some white. I'm just gonna work it into the tip. Got a little stray brush hair.
All right, get his eyes colored in, which I'll have to go back over that once it dries a little bit more. Uh, it's now I'm just blending, you know, I'm just making a mess. And I, there's a couple little places that I wanna kind of fill in with some paint. some spots that are just bleeding a little too much white you know my perfectionists know what I'm talking about y'all know this is not me I don't, I'm not a big perfectionist all right although his eyes are bothering me See what I'm doing? I've put it on the the tip end of my paintbrush so that I can really load it up and uh, fill that area in without actually having to touch um, the the wet black under it. There we go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I love it when it all comes together. Okay. So, you guys ready? There we go. Now, we've got a cat and cactus and a dog and cactus painting. And remember, I almost forgot. Y'all always need to sign your painting so that way, years to come, when somebody's looking at this painting, and you can write it on the back too, but I always like putting mine on front. I do my M with my H added on and my 20. So, how did you guys like this? I would really, really like to know. Um, just comment. Hi, I haven't got to see you guys. <laughs> And uh, comment and let me know. And if you guys have any ideas for more paintings, you know, just holler at me and, and we will we will get this done. So I'm Miss Mariah from the Allen County Public Library. I wanna thank you guys for joining me and uh, see you next time and hopefully see you in person. Stay healthy. Stay calm and stay kind. Thank you. Okay, everybody, this is Miss Mariah. I am going to do a couple of quick sketches to go along with the painting we just did. Um, for those of you who chose to paint a cat, and of course the painting I did was a dog. The original painting I did <laughs> was a cat. So I'm gonna do a quick sketch of a cat, a dog, and another cactus. So that way you will have options to whatever feels best for you and whatever will work best in your home or you know, your grandma's home or your mama's home, you know, wherever you're gonna, wherever this painting is gonna land. All right, so you can see that I've numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And the reason I did this was so that I would remember where I started to make make it easier to, to show you guys and, you know, eliminate a lot of erasing, hopefully on my part. Okay, so we're gonna start with the cat, little top part of its head here. So that, that was step one. Remember, always have a good eraser. Okay, so we're just gonna go a little bit above the, the edge of that little dome. And we're just gonna make the first ear and we're gonna come around to the cat's neck where the, the neck meets the shoulder. Then we're gonna do basically the same thing over here and we're just gonna come down, okay? Now remember, uh, you can always erase. That's always a good thing. Um, 
my cat, your cat, it's not gonna look the same. This cat's gonna look the same as that or as it was in my painting. So just always remember that, don't get freaked out. Okay, so that's one, two, three. I'm gonna come down and then I'm just gonna curve and make its little front paw right there. Then step five is the exact same thing, just over here, okay? And you're like, that doesn't look like a cat. This one's gonna be a little skinnier than that one. I can, I can already tell. Okay, step six, I'm gonna start midway right here and just kind of loop out. And I'm gonna stop it right here on its little toe. And then I'm gonna bring that hind foot out. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. This is its little back leg that's kind of scooted up behind it. There's that foot. Okay, so that was step nine. So 10, we're gonna make the little breast area of your cat and define its legs. There. And I'm just gonna drop it down. See right there. Okay, so that was step 10. 11 is gonna be the tail. So I'm gonna come out here about midway from that back leg. And it doesn't matter how big your tail, how curved or fluffy, it's your cat, your tail. Okay, so that was 11 steps to get the outline of your cat. Then we're just gonna make two little closed eyelids there. Then, just, I'm gonna do a straight line, maybe just a tad bit curved. Then I'm gonna come down just like that, make its little nose, its little kitty cat nose. There you go. So see, of course I was in a little bit of a hurry. I would also just like trim this up. And once you get your drawing, just remember don't, press too hard on the canvas because, you know, when you're erasing, it's just gonna make it harder to um, cover up with the paint. Because our my background was yellow, whatever background you use, sometimes it's just hard to cover up a lot of pencil lines. So, you know, of course I would come in, I would clean this up, but basically there's your cat. And again, this is gonna be at the end of the video. So you can, you know, slow it down, stop it, you know, whatever, whatever you like. So I'm going to turn this over. And here is our little puppy dog. All right, this one's harder. I don't, I don't know why, but it, it, is, it is harder. Um, so we're just gonna make that little dome on top of its head where you would pat. Okay, so we're just gonna come out and just make some floppy ears. That was step two. Step three. See, I made that ear a little wider. So we're gonna erase it. I need to find out who invented erasers and send his great, great grandkids a thank you note. Okay, so that was three. Four, I opted to go ahead and do the nose. It, it helped me keep in balance this paint, uh, this drawing. I don't know why, but it just it just did. Okay, so I don't like that little point there. So we're just gonna come in and erase that. There we go. Then, so four, five, six, Looks more like a hound dog than it does any kind of other dog, doesn't it? I think the original drawing, they said it was a lab. But also remember, when you're doing your drawing, because you're painting it, it's not gonna, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. Because you guys, those of you who have taken my painting classes know, I'm not a sketch artist. <laughs> As you're all seeing right now. So we're just gonna draw his little doggy eyes, that's step seven. Okay, 
eight. Okay, so we're gonna, it's his body. So we're gonna come out a little, then we're gonna curve back and we're gonna have his legs right there, okay? And my overhead light just went out. Did y'all see that? Because I'm not moving around nothing, no blowing room. And yes, I'm coming to you from the library. Awesome. Okay, so again, we're just gonna do that again and pull, pull his little doggy feet out there. And come up like that or down like that. Just depends on what you wanna do. There we go. So that was nine, 10. Get his hind leg here, like that. The other hind leg, like that. 11, <clears throat> 11 steps. And again, you know, it doesn't always look the same, but it's totally up to you. Totally up to you. Uh, even if you wanted to add a little doggy tail, totally your call, you know, we've got this. Um, so that that's for the dog people. And again, got the cactus and this one, I just came in and I just did like this. And of course this will be done with paint. And then we've got this little bulb cactus coming out the top. There we go. That's if you want four cactuses rather than a cat or a dog. So totally up to you guys. Um, easy peasy. Uh, like I said though, the dog was a little harder than the cat. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're harder to potty train than a cat. <laughs> and then there's our cat. So thank you very much for, uh, you know, hanging out with me and doing this painting. And hopefully we will get to see each other very, very soon. Thank you.